Ladies and gentlemen, it's absolutely great to see you here. Lots of progress has been going on from several studios on revealing the latest sets of aircraft. But before we dive right in, welcome to the channel mates and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button on future releases on anything related to flight simming, development updates, marketplace releases, absolutely anything towards Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is the place. Now DC Designs have been a busy lot with their focus on different projects for many months. The Concorde has been the most awaited aircraft and it's really not easy to produce a complex aircraft within days. It takes a lot of work and with the SDK limitations Microsoft Flight Simulator has, porting is definitely not an option. Therefore the developments have to be done from scratch which can be perfectly suitable to work on a platform like Microsoft Flight Simulator. The iconic Concord, the British French turbojet is almost in completion at the studios of DC Designs. Besides, they've been working on several sections of the aircraft from systems to avionics to flight performance to make it completely ready in order to be a study level aircraft. Now the textures appear to be much better than the previous images shared by the studios. The aircraft is experiencing several tests including the subsonic ones that give us a clear idea that the process of developments have been almost done. And it's almost time to see this eagle land in the simulator one of these days. The dates haven't been discussed yet, but we should expect at least a few weeks from now hoping to get our hands on this. Moving towards the military section, the F-14 Tomcat is under great progress. The American supersonic twin-engine fighter aircraft has been quite a demanded one from the simulator. DC designs have been very careful in their design process. With a great team behind, they've spent quite a lot of time testing the flight behaviors in various conditions including the ocean environments around the world. The first layers of cosmetic areas throughout the aircraft which include both the interiors and the exteriors are being worked on in order to see how more accurate they could possibly mimic the appearance. The functionality part of the aircraft have seen great progress where the cockpit has been paid great attention towards instruments and switches. Towards the end of this month is the planned launch for this beautiful Tomcat according to the studios. Talking about the classic areas of aircraft, we have the PT-17 Stearman. More than 10,000 were built during the 30s and 40s which was formerly used as a military training aircraft. The development team have been preparing this model towards the launch phase as it's almost done in wrapping with the design and the engine files are complete. The finer details are in progress where the team has been working towards texturing and color schemes. The interiors are being worked on along with decal stencils and more details will be added on the wing spares as well as the mountings including rivets. Now rivets are one of the primary things especially in the cosmetic areas of the aircraft. Custom sounds definitely matter and it's another area which the team have been quite excited with the use of sim acoustics as the sounds for the aircraft have been true life sounds from the actual aircraft. The marketplace as well as the just flight platform would be the desired point of sales areas for DC designs. They've included Sim Market 2 trying to make it a possible third. We should see this beautiful bird soon at the stores. Before we move towards the news of black box simulations, the F-15 Eagle is undergoing a big update which is almost in the completion stages. Several enhancements would go into this model as it has been a couple of months since the last update we received for this beautiful aircraft. Bugs get reported timely and with a list of bugs they had, tinted windscreen should see some changes as most of the folks in the community weren't really a fan of it which made it difficult during night flights. There have been improvements towards the canopy, another item of interest was the HUD brightness knob which was a requested item however it appears that this couldn't be fulfilled at this update according to the studios. Along with the mentioned there are several other improvements going towards this model which can be more refined once we receive this update so do stay tuned for that. Towards the studios of black box simulation it's time to see what's the next model of interest and it has been the BN2 Islander. This is a twin engine aircraft that was first used in the 60s. Britain Norman BN2 Islander to broadline this, mostly an island hopper and used for other exploration purposes, this has always been a versatile aircraft. 
The modeling has been in good progress from the studios with good level of depth under several areas of the aircraft including the systems. Right now, testing is in progress before the launch of this bird. With the given screenshots, it appears that texturing has been generous including the usage of animation with the doors and detailed modeling overall. This can be an interesting aircraft. Now this is the second installment from the studios after the first launch of the Cessna L19 that has certainly got some attention after the release. The studios have worked with several platforms over the years and it's nice to see more developers slowly release exciting aircraft into the simulator. What really matters is the type of aircraft you would like. It's definitely exciting to see all this come towards the marketplace but at the same time you need to make sure that you have a good list of planes you'd like to buy as it can get certainly expensive over the months after purchasing each of these birds. Aerosoft has been preparing for their upcoming aircraft, the Twin Autos, that's known for its versatility. Largely reliable towards several service companies, it can be a useful aircraft. Very few aircraft have floats in the simulator as of today and it's nice to see floats attached to the aircraft. The studio's plan on releasing this soon will certainly keep you posted on how the progress is going on. On the other hand, the latest release from Carnado have backed their attention towards the PA-34 Seneca 5. This was very recently reviewed by our team, a great aircraft that has a good range, perfectly suited for a weekend trip. It's sold at $29.99 at the marketplace. Do take a look at our recent review that can give you a much better idea towards this interesting model. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we hope you like this video. Do hit the like button if you did as it always matters to us and subscribe for more releases coming along the way. Do take care and stay tuned mates.